Welcome back to Vegication. We are knee deep in the middle of talking about anti-aging and- Aging gracefully. Aging gracefully, not anti-aging because right. we want to age. That means we're living people. Yes, that's right. Let's not die, guys. <laughs> not today. <laughs> no one is dying today. <laughs> not on this show. Uh, but you know, really the thing that we didn't touch on was absorbing your nutrients yeah. and how important that is because you can be eating all the right foods you can be drinking the water you can be doing the things yeah and, and you still not, look old yeah i know for me i have trouble i think it's your ferritin mm -hmm. so your if you have low ferritin it means like you your can storage. take in a mm -hmm. ton of iron but like how much is your body actually holding on to yep and i have that problem where i can take in a lot of iron but my body just doesn't hold on to a ton of it so other than going in and getting blood work and talking to a doctor like how would i have ever known like i'm not absorbing the iron yeah so again being tired that's going to be a key component right women are going to have lower iron anyways because of that whole shedding of the uterus sexy thing that happens every <laughs> month uh but you know a part of that is which we are gonna talk about in a later episode, a lot of people that develop parasites or pathogens, they will steal their iron. So if you are, okay. if we're living and breathing, we usually have some sort of parasite or pathogen within our body. So if you do- we're not talking about pregnant ladies, so. No, we are not. Don't be offended. <laughs> no. Babies are not parasites, even though they do steal all your nutrients. <laughs> well, I know Logan took a lot of yours. All of them. Jace didn't take any. He was an angel. He's sweet. They're both sweet. I love <laughs> they them are both sweet. We love them both. <laughs> and I don't have a baby, so. So other than iron, there's obviously, you know, tons of nutrients. How, how else does our body tell us, like, hey, girl, or hey, boy, because, you know, boys watch too. Um, the, the nutrients are not sticking. How do we know? Yeah. So, again, you're going to see it in your skin. Uh, maybe you have rosacea, maybe you're breaking out all the time. Uh, your nails, can you grow nails? Do they break or, you know, are you able to grow them? So question, if your nails are like, you have, have you ever seen where it's like soft and like bendy? For sure. So that's a sign that you're nutrient deficient or? Not necessarily. I mean, some people have softer nails, so not everyone's going to have those really ridiculously hard nails. I think part of that is genetics. Strong. Yeah. I yeah, I <laughs> definitely have softer nails than the average, I would say, okay. but my grandma did as well, you okay. know, so her entire life. So there is a genetic component to that, but if you can't grow any at all without them breaking, we're definitely having trouble absorbing our nutrients. Okay. You know, how fast does your hair grow? You know, are you having to go to the salon every 12 weeks because your hair doesn't grow? Oh. You know, even your lashes or your brows, that's all a component of health. I got a lot of hair in a lot of places, so I feel like I know I'm healthy. But also, um, I shaved my hair off like two and a half years ago. Yes. And how, I remember that how day. How long it is and how thick it is now, it is literally longer than it was before I cut it. And I never would have thought that it would have grown back. So Coach Lane is getting me right, y'all. She's getting me back to being healthy. It is a tough job, and it no is. one could have prepared me for how much money I'm not getting paid. <laughs> I don't like to listen. I want her to do it for free. I'm terrible. Yes, don't do what but I do. But you love me. But I do love you. So yes, I'm willing to put my fees aside. <laughs> so we talked about nutrient absorption. You know, the foods that we eat, they help us to age gracefully or if we're eating the wrong ones, mm -hmm. they help us to age not so gracefully. So how about like, okay, so that's all the stuff, right, that goes in. What about the stuff that goes on, like skincare? Yeah, that. skincare is a huge component. And you know I love EWG. We're going to talk about it 100 times on this show because I use EWG.org as like my Bible for a lot of things, which is the Environmental Working Group. Yes, I was going to ask you because, again, I know, but I'm, I'm going to help you all. Yes, Environmental Working Group. So EWG.org, they have what's called this skincare database. And what... We actually did this when we were on our last I was recent trip. I ask you, mm -hmm. yeah, so we do a, another show, you guys, Good Things DC, and we have a, can I like tease that? We have you another can. city you can. that's coming. And so we were filming in that city and we did a Target run because we're- Because us. we don't prepare and bring anything that we need. <laughs> so during the Target run, you had this app on your phone and she's like scanning stuff. And I'm like, what is this app? And let me tell you, 
our other host. She loves us, we love her, but I know we got on her last nerve <laughs> because I'm just like running around the store. I'm like, I want to scan everything. And we were putting back some of her items because they didn't pass the <laughs> test did. of our scanning. So. You made her change her cough drops. I did, I did. I made her get better cough drops. So the EWG database and the app can, you can scan different skincare and even foods and it tells you how how it's rated how it's rated based on like toxicity or how many chemicals or right so okay. you want to see the e symbol which is basically a green e and that means it's the best ever there's no hormone disruptors in it there's not it's the best that there can be and then as you move up it goes from one all the way up to ten obviously you want to stay in the one two that's where I like to stay. And then three and up, I just avoid because it's got a lot of hormone disruptors, endocrine disruptors, cancer-causing agents, things like that. Gotcha. So anti-aging or aging gracefully, one component is maybe when you're in the grocery store, you want to scan your um, skincare items mm -hmm. and make sure that they rate um, lower on the EWG scale. What about... Um, Collagen. Collagen, I feel like, is huge yeah. for beauty and like aging gracefully, that whole industry. Like, I see collagen a lot. Even now, where you can do like a collagen supplement where you like eat it. Yes. Or like drink it in your tea. And I feel like, collagen again, to me. you guys, whenever there's a trend, can you just wait for me? Like, don't hop <laughs> don't on the bandwagon for a while. I mean, because you got to wait and see what these crazies look like in about five years. See if you actually want to be on that. <laughs> um, but with collagen, the thing that you can't target is, is when you take a collagen supplement, you don't get to decide where it goes. So let's say Brittany has no collagen in her left toe, and she's <laughs> taking this collagen supplement every day, and her body's like, it's all going to the toe. And she's like, it's not working. Well, it is working. It's going to go wherever you need collagen in your body. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so, so you, you don't, don't get, get to, to choose. choose. You're not like, hey, body can I just pick for you to put it right here in this section? No, you don't get to do that. That's interesting. Yeah. So your body figures out where your collagen deficient and mm -hmm. that's where the collagen goes. It's like when I work out, the first thing I lose weight is my boobs. Did I pray to God and ask him to, for skinny boobs? No, I asked him for a skinny stomach, but what do I get? Skinny, skinny boobs. boobs. Yeah, mm -hmm. deflated pancakes. <laughs> Yeah, so with collagen, there is one that I really, really love that's Aura Organic. Uh, they have a vanilla collagen. It's vegan, of course. Um, the ingredients good. are beautifully sourced. Yes, it tastes amazing. My mom and I use their collagen, and we just love, love their products. So that's the one that I tout for now. Okay, and so collagen... Again, you know, I love y'all. I just be trying to make sure that y'all fully understand. I don't ask these questions for me. I'm asking for a friend. Um, what exactly does collagen do for us? So it's building up the collagen in your body, which for some people, if they have enough collagen all over, yes, it could cause an added appearance to their skin. Okay, so collagen makes your skin elastic, soft, taut. Like, what does All it of do? the above. Okay, so just zhuzh you. Yeah, it's like a... <laughs> I don't want to say a plumper, but yes, it can plump you. Okay. Mm -hmm. So do lip fillers have collagen in them? I don't know because I don't study lip fillers and this is not my industry. Okay. Um, but Jenny Bauer, you know, my girlfriend who owns Bauer, Bauer Beauty. Beauty. Hey girl. Hi Jenny. Uh, she would definitely be able to answer that question okay. for you. And she is a licensed esthetician. So we should probably have her on the show at one point so we she can should. really go into skincare because um, she is the first person who really taught me. I had very oily skin and for a long time I was using products that dried my skin. Well, when your skin is really oily and you dry it, it's just gonna produce more, more oil, oil, right? Causing more breakouts, lots of different things. So, you know, if you're looking for skincare, I would say for anti-aging, the biggest thing I avoid is fragrance. Okay. Fragrance is not only toxic, but it's also gonna be really drying to the skin. So all of the products that I use are fragrance free. So fragrance free doesn't necessarily mean unscented, right? Because oh, you could have like a natural does. fragrance. Like well, a you can use essential oils, but okay. again, it's the quality of the essential oils. So for someone who has breakout prone skin, I would not use even essential oils. Okay. I would so really go stay away. Mm -hmm. Go, what did you call it? Fragrance free. Fragrance free. Yes. Fragrance free. Fragrance free. I like a good fragrance though. Of course you do. You love toxins. I know. I sprayed my toxic <laughs> hairspray this morning and she was like, oh, that smells so good. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, it's super toxic. I'm like, oh, I just inhaled all of it. That's, that's great. She loves to load her body with toxins. Okay. So 
I love this. We are wrapping up yes. aging gracefully, but don't go anywhere. We will be right back. We have a little bit more for you here on Veducation. Bye guys.